Hey everyone, uh, this video is uh, set up to basically show you how to uh, set up your uh, radar, ratio trade radar in TradeStation. So what I've got here, as you can just see, I got a simple chart. Um, in fact, I'm actually short the Aussie dollar right now based on the ratio trade radar. And what I want to do is I'm actually going to start right from scratch. I'm just looking at a chart and I'm going to go to uh, the upper corner here. And on TradeStation, you want to go up to File, and then uh, you don't see it on the screen, but it says File New Window. And when you hit File New Window, you're going to get some options. Uh, you want to pick uh, Radar Screen. Now, if you don't have Radar Screen uh, as default, you may need to subscribe to it uh, in TradeStation. And to do that, you just go to the Help menu up top, and uh, when you select Help, uh, there's account services and you can go add remove data features it opens up a website and uh, allows you to pick radar screen so going back I'm gonna go to file new window this pops up I'm gonna select radar screen I'm gonna hit OK and then when I open up radar screen this is what I get I just get a thing that says symbol blah 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 right so what you're gonna do is the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and you're gonna format and that all analysis techniques Okay, when you go here, what I like to do is I'm going to remove most of this except for interval. So I'm just going to go here and go remove, 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 I bring it down, remove, 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 and I'm going to leave it at that. And then what I want to do is I want to scroll down and I want to find where it says ratio trade, ratio radar. Okay, that is the indicator. Once you've uh, got the indicator and uh, we've sent it to you. What you want to do to get it in here is you're going to click on import and then it's going to say what do you want an import and it's going to give you four options here. You're going to pick number two import an easy language file. You go to next you're going to browse for it and wherever you put it I put mine on the desktop and it says ratio radar and then my name. I'm going to hit open next indicator and then if you get the pivots it'll say both finish yes to all well I'm overwriting this so right here and then it'll say you have successfully imported all your analysis techniques okay so again I'm gonna right click format all analysis techniques let's reverse and I'm gonna go remove 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 scroll down to now my new indicator that's there that says ratio trade radar I'm going to add it and then I'm gonna hit OK and now you can see that that's all in here. Now all I need to do here is start adding the symbols that I like to trade. So let's say I like to trade the Euro. I add in that and that's right there. So right there you see the Euro 5 minute is producing an actual ratio trade. Let's actually take a look at it. Now to link this, right click, uh, uh, left click here, pick the color and make sure it's matching with the chart color. Now if I click on Euro USD, you see that changes and what it's telling me is, is that there's a ratio long uh, if it pulls down here. Now some of these obviously won't be the prettiest trades in the world, but it's finding them. That's the key, right? So then if I go Aussie USD, right, GBB, GBP USD, USD JPY, right? Now if there's nothing here, then it's not going to tell you anything, okay? If there is it will let, notify you via an audio alert okay or via here now if you want to set up an alert just again right click format all analysis techniques okay click on ratio trade radar click on format and then on the alerts tab you're gonna click enable alert and then uh, I have alert once per bar and then I use the global message preferences. Hit OK. And then basically it will alert me when there is a trade. Now if I want to change the time frame of these, right click and you can either right click on the symbols and go format all symbols, change the time frame to whatever. So let's say we're looking at a 60 minute. We prefer to look at 60s. It'll change all of them to 60s and you can see the Aussie dollar right here ratio trade short tells me where it started where it ended X is the beginning 
and you can see 90, 90.91941. What's the high there? 0.91941. Okay? And then it'll alert you basically when you want, when there's a short, there it alerts you. When there's a long, it alerts you. And then it's obviously your job from there to look at it and make sure it's clean and nice and meets the requirements for ratio trades. All right, guys, so hope that helps. And um, that's the ratio trade radar.